Have you ever noticed when I'm doing these videos, I always start by rolling my shoulders. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Daniel Bear from Metaverse Nerds here. I want to make this quick video because I just got off a coaching call with a student that was coming into our REI Marketing Mastery program. And we were talking about something that I think is really applicable to all real estate investors that are doing online marketing, specifically if you're doing search engine optimization. Now, search engine optimization, I think a lot of us know, you know, you're tweaking your website, you are creating content for your website, things like that. But a big part of that process is going to be building links, building backlinks to your website. So this is getting a third party website, like let's say Zillow or your friend's blog to link back to your website. And generally in Google, right, a link is viewed as a gesture of good faith. It's viewed as a passing of authority, right? If a lot of websites link to your website, Google is generally going to assume that you, your website is good. It's high quality. It works well. All right. Now, this has led a lot of people, real estate investors specifically, to go out and try to get as many links as possible, because generally we all have the kind of belief that the more the better. But this isn't the case because you can get links that actually hurt you. You can get links that are spammy links. You can get links that are low quality links that essentially do more to harm your site's reputation in Google's eyes than they do to help. So we're in this weird situation where real estate investors know they need to get links. They know that getting links is a really critical step to ranking their uh, their website aggressively and getting more motivated seller leads. But if you go out and you get the wrong kind of links, you might get hurt by that. If you don't get any links, you're not gonna move forward. It's just very difficult. So why is this so hard for real estate investors? Well, real estate investors are in a really weird market. There aren't many people, sort of outsiders, uh, you know, tangential businesses or industries that have a logical reason to link to real estate investors. If you've got a pizza restaurant, you can find people in your local area that have a logical reason to link to you. A newspaper, a blog that's talking about local restaurants, a local business directory, whatever it is. For investors, finding those you know, those partnerships is a lot harder. Real estate agents don't really want to link to real estate investors and, and you know, realtors are the same way. Sites like Zillow and Trulia definitely don't want to link to real estate investors. They have every reason not to do that. So you're in this weird situation of where do you go out and get links? And, you know, it's going to take time and there's a whole, a whole bunch of stuff that goes into this process, goes into this thought this, um, this strategy that I, I can't necessarily get into on a video that's this length, but I do have a rule of thumb that I think is really, really valuable. And it's this, the rule of thumb is, if a link is easy to get, you probably don't want it. You definitely don't need it, but you probably don't want it. And the reason that I say this is because links that are easy to get, like for example, getting a blog post listed on a blog directory or getting your business listed in the yellow pages or whatever. They generally are going to have, they're either going to be very, very common, meaning you're not going to get much of a, an edge on your competition because everybody's got the same links, or they typically tend to be low quality or spammy and actually hurt your site more than they help. So when I think about link building, I think about things that are hard to reproduce, forming relationships with media outlets over time, uh, writing high value content that you can post on an industry website, building local partnerships, uh, joining the Chamber of Commerce, even sponsoring a local baseball team. These are all things that spammers and people that are not legitimate won't do or can't do. They're hard to get and that's why they're valuable. Right. It's just like expensive metals, right? Rare earth metals or whatever. The rarer they are, the more valuable they are. If something's everywhere, it's not worth anything. So when you're thinking about going out and getting links for your real estate investing website and increasing your search engine rankings for finding motivated sellers, you want to think about this rule of link building, which is if it's easy to get, you probably don't want it.
I hope that helps. And I'll be talking to you again soon. Daniel Barrett from AdwordsNerds.com signing off. Cheers.